Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I am Sia Mamba, I am a graduate under the engineering uh, faculty. I graduated with an honors degree in electrical and electronics engineering, busy pursuing my master's degree. I'm also working for the techno lab as a senior technician there. So ladies and gentlemen, I know that change is good, but it comes with a lot of uncertainties, things that we have never expected in life. So it is very much imperative that one it's always prepared for the next phase where they're going so here i am today to give you three hints that assisted me and they can also assist you to find your stability in your first year of study and going further hint number one called association management association management it's when you manage the people that comes into your life you are the ceo of your life you need to manage the people that you bring into your life remember ladies and gentlemen the five people that are in your life you probably be their average so if you have a five bad people that's your average five good people that's your average so it is very very important that you manage who comes in into your space because they can either make you or kill you people can be either destined helpers or destined killers so please be careful when it comes to choosing people into your space or when it comes to selecting the kinds of friends number two it's called priority management priority management it's when you are able to know or when you have the ability to know the importance of all the daily activities and tasks that we have to do you know this one is very important compared to this one then you take all those ones that are important and you put them in front of those that are less important the tasks that you do they are not the same some are more important than the other some are less important than the other so it is up to you to know which one needs to be done don't be pleased to to jump into instant pleasure that will corrupt the entire future don't be pleased to do things that you can play get pleasure for now yet your future is destroyed that's what i call delay gratification it's when you are able to postpone some certain pleasure for a better future so it's very very much important that you prioritize your task things like soapies tvs uh, facebook social media those kind of things they are less important friendship put them at the back don't prioritize them prioritize your studies be always at the library and study point number three which is the last one discipline very very much important if you lack discipline you cannot make it in this world of varsity you need to be disciplined enough to say no to what you're not supposed to do discipline cannot be measured in the absence of what you do not like Discipline is always measured in the presence of what you like. It's when everything that you like is there, but you choose to put a blind eye as if it does not exist. That's what I call discipline. Discipline is when TV is there, the bed is there, but you still choose to sit on the desk and study. Discipline is when there is a club, there is a party, there are friends partying around, but you still close that door and open the library door. That's what I call discipline. Discipline is when you have all the apps on your phone, the social media apps, but you still choose to switch off your data and focus on your study. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to always be disciplined. How can you always keep up with discipline? Number one, know your background. Remember your background. Remember where you come from. Does your background allow you to do what you do? If not, don't do it. Your background, it's important. It has to be your pushing force towards where you're going. Number two, you need to envision your future. Know where you are going exactly. Knowing that, it will help you to know what to do, what not to do. Then it will keep up with discipline. So ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all the best in all your endeavors. Don't forget to work hard, keep calm, always keep a positive mindset. And lastly, envision your future. Thank you.